What is good? I mean, what is really good, my people? It is UK. Try to brother Dr. Blade, the darkest man around us today, guys. I'll be talking about One Piece World Seeker. Will it be the game to attract non One Piece fans? A lot of people have talked about this. A lot of people have thought about this. A lot of people have been discussing this. And me, in my honest opinion, it has to do that to be successful. It really does have to do that to be successful because One Piece fans alone are not going to be good enough for this game to be successful. We've seen this in the past with Burning Blood. We've seen this in the past with Unlimited World Red. We've seen it in the past with Pirate Warriors. Those games haven't really lived up to par in terms of how successful they could have potentially been if there were like, let's say, a Dragon Ball which can literally attract people that are not really anime fans. It can literally attract pretty much any demographic it's just the fact that it's dragon ball and a lot of people are open to seeing what dragon ball is going to do next regardless of whether you hate the series regardless of whether you know nothing about the series the fact that it's dragon ball it really does open a lot of people's eyes and you can even say that to a certain extent for naruto shinobi striker a good example because shinobi striker hasn't really been doing itself um a, a good a good a good um a good impression should i say in terms of how they've gone about things in terms of promotion, in terms of how the game looks as a whole. But anyways, if you guys want to know whether I feel like this game could potentially be a good game in terms of bringing people that are non One Piece fans in, get your fried chicken, get that glorious ass Kool-Aid and sit them cheeks down because you know, you definitely know this UK Trotter Bro will be going ham on this video. So without further ado, let me just get on with this. So first of all, I gotta start off by saying that in terms of the way the game is styled, in terms of what they the way they're trying to go about with this game, there's only two ways they could really make a game to bring in people that are non-One Piece fans. Number one, make it an offline game that centers around an original story, which they're doing right now. Open world, offline, it centers around the original story, or they can even add online as well that centers around an original story and an original concept using either new characters or using the set of characters they have now so they can either go xenoverse 2 or do or xenoverse sort of style thing but i would say tweak it a little bit or go the style that they're doing now those styles are pretty much good for people that are not really familiar with one piece of series another way that they can go about it is making it a general fighting game a fighting game that doesn't really rely on the game's law and doesn't really rely on you understanding the game's law or you understanding should I say the series of the, the series law so if you just make it a straight up fighting game that way it could bring people in that are not heavily that are not heavily into One Piece or do not know a lot about One Piece do not know about the different devil abilities don't know about the low gears and and the Zoans and all the other types that there are in the One Piece universe so if you do it like that or those styles that I mentioned those are the only styles that I feel that could work well in terms of making a game um, appealing to people that are not into that are not into One Piece as a whole but here's the problem the problem lies in the fact that these games have to be promoted well and if you look at One Piece World Seeker it hasn't really been promoted as well as it could have. We've seen some promising signs and we also see some worrying signs in terms of how the game is, in terms of looking visually empty. There's not really a lot of people in a village or there's not really a lot of people in cities and towns, which if you know cities, cities has a lot of people and this game's looking empty and just looking bland as a whole. But if you look at the stuff that, they can, that they're doing in terms of parkour elements, in terms of uh, possible quick time events, even third person angles, for certain for certain scenes in the game stuff like that are looking promising but all of those stuff can matter less if you cannot promote the game right and so far based on the way they've been promoting this game it hasn't been good enough in terms of making people discuss about the game making people keep talking about the game make pe making people even remember the game that's key you can't make a game like you can't do that like you actually cannot do that because at the end of the day when it comes to a game as a whole you gotta promote it well a game could be good but if it doesn't get the right promotion if it doesn't get the right reception if people don't remember that the game is coming out then the game can't do well and one piece in terms of its gaming series or gaming franchise as a whole is not really in a great place burner blood flopped and 
they don't they don't they don't really seem like they want to go the pirate warriors route even though people are begging for pirate warriors 4 i don't know why we've had we have three of them and for the most part you guys know how dynasty warriors hack and slash works it's pretty much the same thing over and over again yes the mechanics do get refined yes they do improve on stuff but as a whole the game is roughly the same there's not really that major improvements there's not really that major major things added towards the game but if people want to see Pirate Warriors 4, by all means, I would welcome a Pirate Warriors 4, but I do not feel like now is the best time due to the fact that when it comes down to Pirate Warriors, it needs a lot of action stuff because it's pretty much a story mode driven game. And since it's a story mode driven game that needs a lot of action stuff, based on the stuff that we had so far, there's not really a lot of stuff to add towards the story based on what we've seen in Pirate Warriors 4. But let's go back to One Piece World Seeker. One Piece World Seeker does have the potential to bring in non One Piece fans but like I said as long as it does the promotion that he's been doing so far it's not going to be able to do that successfully. If it has better promotion gives people a lot more to talk about give us trailers give us a lot more stuff to add towards the game then it actually will help build the game up. The game, the game, needs, um, the game needs more build up in terms of bringing more people in and also in terms of Bandai actually tweeting about the game saying yo Whoa, look at this game. We got a game called One Piece World Seeker. Don't forget to check out the trailers. Look at these new screenshots. They don't really do it that much. Obviously, I do see them do it from time to time, but they don't really do that. They don't really do it that much. And when it comes to certain stuff with One Piece World Seeker, I literally have to go on random websites that I've never heard of to actually get screenshots, which should actually be on the page of Bandai Namco. But it is what it is. Who knows, they might be saving some stuff, they might not be quite ready to promote the game, I don't know, I'm just speculating, just putting my overall thoughts and opinions out there about it, but I just wanted to discuss this on whether I feel that this game could bring in One Piece, um, non One Piece fans should I say, and I feel like it could, I feel like it could honestly, it could, but I don't know if it will, that's the major thing, I don't know if it will, could and will, two different things, and that yeah like it has the basic platform it has the style to do it it's just whether it's going to get the promotion and the back end and the reception in order to actually pull it off that's what it comes down to one piece is a series that's already at a disadvantage a lot of people want to dislike the series a lot of people want to hate on the series as a whole so it's one of those series that has a lot of stuff going against it so they gotta do everything they can or they or should i say they gotta go a little bit extra and beyond in terms of actually putting themselves in a position where you can actually say yo I actually really want to get this One Piece game I actually really want to look into One Piece I actually really want to watch One Piece you guys get what I mean but as a whole like I said I want to know what you guys think about this leave it down in the comment section below and yeah let me just wrap up this video so please comment and subscribe I know I say this all the time but at the end of the day I'm just saying it. please like really enjoy this video and yeah this UK Chocolate Brother will catch you next one make sure you like it click on the bell icon do all those stuff which helps me out a lot this all of this stuff helped me out a lot subscribing clicking the bell icon all of this stuff helps me out a lot and yeah catch you next one guys bye